Friday the 12th of February 2021. A 21-year-old Polk County, Florida man was arrested after sexually abusing an elderly woman at the Lakeland Regional Health Hospital he worked at. The employee, Jordan Robert James, took the 82-year-old woman into an elevator while being transported from one floor of the hospital to the next for testing. Whilst there, he violently sexually assaulted her. Another officer who was working an extra shift that night was notified by hospital security staff at 9.45 of the possible attack on a patient inside the facility. The authorities were notified and immediately arrested James without incident. He's been charged with aggravated sexual battery and false imprisonment and has been detained at the Polk County Jail. This incident remains an open and active investigation. At 6.15pm on Saturday the 13th of February 2021, police arrested a 21-year-old homeless man who went on a subway stabbing spree, killing two people and injuring two others. Each victim is believed to be homeless and vulnerable, using the subway as a refuge. The man named Rigoberto Lopez studied his vicious attacks over a 14-hour period, commencing around 11.20am on Friday the 12th of February 2021. The stabbings occurred along the A-train line in Manhattan and Queens in New York. The first attack occurred when the crazed man approached a 67-year-old man named Carlos Martinez, who was sitting on his walker on the subway platform at the West 181th Street station in Upper Manhattan. He said to the elderly man, I'm going to kill you, before stabbing him with a knife in the right knee and buttocks before fleeing. The man was treated at a local hospital and is in a serious but stable condition. Almost 12 hours later, Lopez approached a 40-year-old man in an A-train at Mott Avenue Station in Far Rockaway, Queens. He stabbed this man multiple times in the neck and torso. At 11.19pm, a witness entered the carriage and found a body sitting on the bench, surrounded by a pool of his own blood inside an idling train. The authorities were contacted and emergency services arrived. As they enter the grisly scene, they pronounce the unconscious and unresponsive man dead. Early next morning, at around 1.15am, a 44-year-old woman named Claudine Roberts was found unconscious after being stabbed multiple times across the chest. She was gushing blood beneath the seats of another A train at the West 207th Street Station in Upper Manhattan. She was taken to the local hospital, but died one hour later. The final attack occurred at 1.28am along the West 181th station when the suspect stabbed a 43-year-old homeless man who was sleeping on the stairs of the station. He was stabbed four times in the back, just below his neck. He staggered into a nearby Chase ATM foyer where a security guard called for help. He underwent surgery at a nearby hospital and was in a stable condition. Lopez's last known address was a Brooklyn hotel used to provide shelter for the homeless. Police located Lopez at West 186th Street and Audubon Avenue in Washington Heights and arrested him. He was found with a large knife and he was covered in blood and he was wearing the same clothes as recorded on the surveillance footage. He was taken into custody at the 34th Precinct Station House in Manhattan. The authorities reported that Lopez is mentally ill and has been in a psychiatric ward at least two times. He's been arrested at least four previous times, which includes assaulting his dad and another police officer, as well as criminal contempt. His most recent arrest was in October last year, when he was seen walking around Washington Heights with a long kitchen knife and 48 bags of cocaine with plans to sell them. After undergoing a psychiatric evaluation at Bellevue Hospital, Lopez was charged for murder and attempted murder of his four victims. New York Police Department Chief Brian McGee said, I'm not going to get into the motive, but what I can tell you is they're all unprovoked attacks. The victims had nothing, didn't initiate anything, 